what it is squad this your girl kaylee with day 11 of vlogtober bosstober and here i am with another video today i'm gonna give you all the face mask that i was talking about it is going to be a peel off mask so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to wash my face you always want to do this on a clean face and then the second step i'm going to steam my face just for a few minutes so one sec Then I'm going to steam. This opens the pores a little bit. You can see the little heat coming off of it too. you can always get a bigger pot and put the towel over your head to you know get the effects of this thing more intense or you can take a warm towel and sit it on your face for a few moments For the mixture, we have two tablespoons of milk and it's warm as you can see the steam. I run the milk for about 15 to 20 seconds so it's hot. You can use any milk. Um, I had condensed milk, that's the only thing I had in the house today. Um, but you can use whole milk, almond milk, any milk of your preference. I'm going to take a packet of gelatin, unflavored gelatin. Um, it should be about a tablespoon, but I brought my measuring spoon just to measure on um, one tablespoon. Yep, give or take one tablespoon. So the vitamin D is good for your skin as far as the milk. The gelatin will help with the peel. We'll add a little bit of honey to it, about a half of a tablespoon of honey. It has antibacterial properties. Now, tea tree is also good for the skin. Um, it helps with antibacterial and it is an antiseptic. I have peppermint oil that is about the same thing. It does have antibacterial properties and it's an antiseptic. It also helps with mental clarity and energy. So if you're familiar with your essential oils, you know this is good for your skin as well. Plus it'll give that cooling effect um, to the mask. So I'm just going to drop a few drops. Then you'll mix. say that it does help be careful about putting around the places that you have hair um, so we'll try to avoid here and sideburns but let's see I think it's incorporated it's a smooth texture for the most part Take a 
thing. I'm gonna make a brush. I'm gonna make a brush and apply. Want to make sure that it's not too warm for your face. Let's give a test run. It's a little warm, but it's not uncomfortable. So we'll try to make this process quickly before it dries. And as you can see, I have areas of hyperpigmentation where my blackheads kind of reside. For the most part, they always appear in the same spots. sit for about 30 minutes and come back when it's fully dry. See you then. Okay folks, I am back and as you can see my face is very shiny. It's very, very tight. Um, I can't move my mouth much. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so it's time for the peeling stage. of it off I let it stay on 45 minutes so that it can almost dry completely um, for next time I think this part was fine um, I can add a little bit more here I will need more here because as you can see it's still kind of flaky there so I'm gonna wash my face again but overall it feels soft and smooth and I know that's the honey um, that is helping there was a bump that was coming here, a pimple that was coming here, 
I see that it brought it closer to the surface so it'll be easier to get to um, I can definitely see some of the hairs unwanted hairs that it pulled out and I can see some of the white heads so let's see I don't know if you'll be able to see and since it's a translucent color it's kind of see-through so you won't be able to see it all but I do see my hairs and white heads that were popping out and makeup removal because I know sometimes I don't get it all um, this was a, a, a good deep cleanse um, for anybody that wants to try something at home um, to kind of jumpstart their their cleanse regimen. So I'm going to wash my face again, but it does feel very smooth. And I'm going to add my toner and cleanser. And I think I'm done today. This is a good detox for your face. So I recommend it. If you try it, let me know how will it work for you. Go ahead and hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next video. Remember squad, I love you. And also tell me how you bossing. Thank you.